Hey, hello, my name is Michael. Welcome to another English lesson with ACE English School Japan located in Takasaki Guma. Okay, so today's lesson is going to be about some nouns that are always plural. Plural means more than one, okay? And some of them you might not know. So today's lesson is, did you know that these nouns are always plural? Always plural, plural means more than one. Okay, so let's go over some today. Okay, pants, trousers, jeans. So in American English, we don't use the word trousers. We usually use pants or jeans, okay? Then jeans are only for the blue jeans, denim jeans, okay? Uh, pants is for everything. Uh, but I, I believe they still use the word trousers in British English. And all of these are plural because the two legs two legs, so one leg, two legs. So I guess that's why they count them as being plural, okay? So pants, trousers, jeans, swimming trunks, swimming trunks. Well, if you use the word trunks, then you use the S, okay, on trunks. You can also say just trunks, okay? Pajamas, pajamas are usually in a set the top and the bottom. So we say pajamas, okay? For ladies, there's stockings, tights, and pantyhose. It's the same as pants, thinking is two. Two legs, so two. So these are always plural. And then we have glasses and sunglasses, so I guess because each lens, okay? So we say glasses and sunglasses. Don't just say glass. If you say just glass, it means like drinking glass or like a piece of glass, like, like for a window, okay? So glasses and sunglasses. In the same way, in the same way, we say binoculars. Binoculars, these are binoculars, okay? Binoculars, and bi means two, okay? Bi means two, that's why we say bicycle, okay? So binoculars with an S, okay? And then we have scissors, scissors. So I guess it's because one, two, so scissors. So these words are all always plural. Okay, more than one. Okay, so let me go over some examples on how to use them in sentences, okay? So, my board is really messy, it's really dirty. Jeans. Where are my jeans? So we're going to use R. Where are my jeans? They're under the bed. They're under the bed. Just remember, there equals they are, right? They're under the bed, okay? So this is plural and this is plural, okay? So you try. Where are my jeans? God, okay? The one I'm always asking Where are my
Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? They're on the table. They're on the table. Okay, so again, are and there. Okay. Okay, let me teach some more real quick. So the word suit, the word suit, when you're talking about one, it's not plural, but it's countable. So if you buy two suits or three suits, it's okay, suits, but it's not always plural like these other ones, okay? So we say, um, for example, uh, bathing suit or swim suit. So we say bathing suit, swim suit without an S. And we also say um, for ladies. Bikini, bikini, bikini also don't use an S, okay? If you're talking about more than one, two or three summer bikinis, well, okay. But this word is not plural by itself. When it's singular, it's only one, okay? Maybe because it's an island, named after an island, okay? Um, so bathing suit, swimsuit, bikini, they're not always plural, okay? Also, um, for ladies, panties, panties, so ladies' underwear, that's always plural, okay? This is always plural because maybe a long time ago they were like pants, they were a little bit longer and they covered both legs. So panties, plural, but bra is not. Bra is not because this word also, it seems like it might be plural, right? So it might be, but it's not because it comes from a word that is similar to t-shirt and t-shirt is not always plural. So this one is plural, this one is not. Okay. But it's countable, so if you buy two or three you bras, but it's not always, okay? Then, same way, underwear, underwear, there's no S, underpants, what S? Same word, same meaning, your choice. If you use this one, use a S, always, underpants. If you use underwear, don't use a S, okay? Another one. Uh, this one is really for Japan. Uh, clothes. Okay, clothes is always plural, always plural, so. Uh, I want to buy some new clothes or I bought some new clothes. I want to buy some new clothes. I bought some new clothes. So sometimes in Japan, some people accidentally say closes. Closes, there's no word. So it's always clothes, okay? Um, the thinking would be, this is singular? No. This word is actually pronounced cloth. So this is pronounced cloth, and cloth is what you use to wash your face or to wash, uh, clean a table. It's a small little towel that you use for cleaning, or cloth, okay? 
also sometimes material for making clothes. Okay, so clothes. Um, to, to use it singular, we usually don't use singular, but singular would be, so clothes, yeah. a piece of clothing. A piece of clothing. But we never say this because if it's only singular, we usually use the name of the item that we're talking about. So, for example, I bought a new shirt. Okay, I bought a new shirt. I bought a new dress. Okay, I bought a new dress. Okay, so these are singular. So instead of using, I bought a piece of clothing, we use what it is, we say what it is that we bought. I bought a new shirt, I bought a new dress. Okay, whatever it is that you bought. Okay, I want, I want a new shirt, I want a new dress. Okay, okay, so that's one. Okay. And for the list that I showed at the beginning, we, you can also use the word pair. Pair means a set of two. A pair of z. Okay, so I bought. So make sure that you know by past tense is bought. Okay, I bought a pair of pants. I bought a pair of glasses. Okay, a pair of. Okay. So you can use this with plural words. So not only if it's two, if it's two, a set of two. Not only for words that are always plural, but also some other words like a pair of uh, shoes or socks. Okay, or boots. Boots would be with shoes, boots, or Gloves, 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 okay, a pair of. Okay, so let's practice this one. Let's read together. I bought a pair of pants. I bought a pair of glasses. I bought a pair of shoes. I bought a pair of boots. I bought a pair of socks. I bought a pair of gloves. I bought a pair of, then set of two. Okay, and I wanna teach one more thing. I bought a pair. So this is especially for Japan I want to teach. I bought a pair of earrings. A pair of earrings. Pierce, well, we don't say. Pierce is the hole inside the ear, the hole that they put here for the earrings. But the earrings are earrings, or you can also say pierced earrings. Pierced earrings this is okay also, but you don't need this. You just say earrings. And the other kind would be 
clip-on. Clip-on earring is like a clip-on tie, a clip, so without a hole is clip-on earring, okay? So don't use uh, pierce. So we use piercing. Piercing for body piercing. Other places on the body, they call it piercing, okay, or body piercing. But for your ears, we say earrings. So a pair, a pair of earrings or just I bought earrings, new earrings, okay, or a pair of earrings. Okay, well, that's it for today. I hope that helped you understand a little bit of these uh, words that are always plural, and uh, I hope you'll be able to use them in your conversation. And thank you very much. And as always, if you like the video, please hit like, uh, subscribe to our channel if you're not a member, leave us a message, and feel free to share the video. Okay, thank you. Bye. See you next time.